Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Who has two bad episodes we're going to talk about? SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, folks. SpongeBob actually has two banned episodes. That's crazy. And we're going to Go talk on. about both of them. Um, and I think it's appropriate because JT's been on a SpongeBob binge lately, haven't you? Yes. For those of you who don't know and don't follow us on Instagram or Facebook, or whatever, or like us on Facebook and Twitter, or whatever, I do plenty of postings on our on our Superview Show Instagram story of SpongeBob things that I just find hysterical. It says the first three seasons are golden, um, but. And I, 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 yes, I'm on a SpongeBob tangent right now. I'm binge watching the first three seasons. I'm almost done with season, season three, which is great. And it's so funny. Oh my God. All right. The first episode we're talking about that got banned was yes. the episode Midlife Crustacean. Okay. And what was that one about? That was the episode when Mr. Krabs is going through his midlife crisis and he goes on a night in the town with SpongeBob and Patrick. Oh, yes. You know the. Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? Do you feel it are, now, Mr. Krabs? Do you? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it now? <laughs> I love that. So episode. after the night seems to be a bust, and then Patrick goes, "I guess you're gonna miss the panty raid." You mean girls, girls, girls? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, and you're gonna raid their underpants, and. That scene when they go into that house and it turns out to be Mr. Krabs' mom's house. <laughs> and they actually, when they go into the underwear drawer and then they go, we hit the jackpot! <laughs> yeah. Um, Classic I mean, episode, too. Classic episode, of course. I'm not yeah. even up there yet. but So, now I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. This was banned? Well, yeah, it actually was. It's actually the episode aired in 2003. Mm -hmm. And it, because I remember seeing it on Nickelodeon plenty of times. Same here. And it got banned. It, the last time it aired on Nickelodeon was 2018. Really? And also, it's not on Paramount Plus. Damn it. Because of the, um, because parents didn't want their kids seeing that yep. right in people's underwear drawers. But you know what? Yeah. Here's something that makes me scratch my head, JT, and agree to disagree. What do you got? This episode aired like 15 years prior. Like to when they first banned it, yeah. Yeah, like that that the, if you if you made the now listen, I just want to say, and I don't know if JT's on the same boat here. But I'm not for banning things. I'm not for censoring things. I don't know how you feel, JT, but. We are in the same boat. I mean, full disclosure, if you want to show stuff on Family Guy or The Simpsons or SpongeBob or whatever, do it. Just do it carefully. That's all I ask. Because otherwise you will get banned. I am surprised. I didn't know this was banned until you just said that. That's very interesting, actually. This is Ben. Yeah, this whole episode is gonna be a rent, is gonna be an episode of random facts with Bill. Once you think about it, um, we, we should totally. I'm I, full disclosure, but I am gonna work on a random facts with Bill completion. But anyway, so yeah, this episode because they the parents didn't want want to see their kids. But I also have a theory of why this episode was banned in specifically 2018. Why is that? Because that's when the Me Too movement started gaining steam. Oh, I see. Yep. So maybe they want they didn't want kids seeing that and thinking that that's okay. So I want to ask: Do you think that um? Do you think that um? Do you think banning that episode was justified or not justified? I think, given time, possibly, but I think for the most part, I think I think it was just looked at looked at as a classic SpongeBob episode. But at the same time, I understand their reasoning for it recently. But you know, that's me. But um, yeah, there was a 
there wasn't, but yeah. So the reason why you folks haven't seen that episode on Nickelodeon for a while, or you haven't seen it on Paramount Plus, that's why. Damn. Okay. It's such a funny episode too. Yeah, I would say in my SpongeBob episodes, like that is probably like in my top 10. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's like, they're, they're just, dude, get a ride. <laughs> it's, I'm on a binge right now. It's crazy. You know what we got to do one day? What? Top 10 SpongeBob episodes. Yes. I will take note of that. Coming soon, folks. Top 10 SpongeBob episodes. Mixed bag. Top 10 SpongeBob episodes. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, okay, so there was actually another SpongeBob episode that actually never aired. But really? Okay. See, but if you see it on, but it is floating around online. Which was what? Which, which one? Um, it's called Quarantine Crab. Okay. Uh, what is it about? It apparently the the health inspector. That health inspector, you you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, I just saw this episode the other day. He he comes in, detects that there is a virus in the Krusty Krab, and puts the whole and puts SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, Pearl, and Mrs. Puff all in quarantine in the Krusty Krab. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, so this episode was actually supposed to air in 2020. And I think the, the smart folks who watch our show probably know why this episode never aired. Uh, very well. So, I mean, that's, yeah, <laughs> we, 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 for those of you who live through 2020, we'll trace it. A lot of you have, if not all of you, that really that showing the quarantine on SpongeBob would have been a, I mean, they might have lost viewership, truthfully, if they haven't already. Like I said, I'm not for ban and I'm not for censorship, but I can see why they never aired this episode. Let me say I'm here. Because I think, because we use this type of stuff for escape this Yeah. And, and, I think they didn't want kids to see, oh my God, we watched this to get away from everything. We don't want to see it on SpongeBob too. But on the flip side, but on the flip side, um, once you think about it, I think maybe it would have been a good thing to show this episode during quarantine. Maybe. Because it would have maybe helped explain to kids what a quarantine is and why we're doing it maybe i mean i i I think that's a very very valid thing but but at the end of the day i can see why they never aired it because they probably didn't want kids to get scared and they aired like the second episode in that shot in in that thing but they never aired quarantine crab So yeah, the even more you Sp- know. Even SpongeBob couldn't get away from the censors. What do you think? That's crazy. I mean, I, I was I wasn't even. I, I thought we would get to this. I didn't know we would actually start with this. It's a good one. 